Hello everyone. Now we will discuss about justice. So, what is justice? Does justice share equally or get the same right? If you know, if you more know about justice, let's check it out. So, justice is a state of being in conformity, appropriate in the sense of being proportional to the needs. For example, we take to school children with houses next to each other. One goes to a school 500 meters from his house, and the other goes to school which is 5 kilometers from his house. If the two children are given an allowance of 10,000 rupiah, it would be unfair. Because children who go to school further away, of course, need travel costs which reduce their allowance. And what happens in the world of work today? A bachelor certificate usually earns a larger amount of salary than a high school diploma. Likewise, a farmer, a farmer is not suitable to work on his fields if he wears an official suit. So, the state of justice doesn't always refer to equality. But fairness is proportional to needs. Fire doesn't always mean the same. Several concepts of justice, namely, distributive justice is concerned with rights, and retributive justice is concerned with criminal justice. Concept of justice essentially is giving people what is due and not giving what is not due. In other words, making sure citizens get their rights. Duty of justice. First, duty to give what it should be, and the second, duty to ensure release even by force. Rawls views. Justice is a fairness choice to blend equality with liberty and uphold social contract, the original position and value of ignorance, a more rational conception of justice. Rawls three principle. First, principle of equal liberty to the difference principle and the three the equal opportunity principle okay let's explain one by one first principle of equal liberty equal liberty such as each person is to have equal right to the most extensive total system of equal basic liberties compatible with a similar system of liberty for all. That means everyone should be able to access these liberties, like a freedom of speech, freedom to vote, freedom to run for office, freedom for arbitrary arrays, freedom to assemble, and etc. Difference and Equal Opportunity Principle Social and economic inequalities are to be arranged so that they are both to the great benefit of the less advantage, consistent with the just saving principle and attached to office and positions open to all under conditions of fair equality of opportunity. And the second is the difference principle. Based on the story of the previous slide, Inequalities are allowed only if they benefit the less well-off, example, affirmative actions, gender quotas, and etc. And the last is the equal opportunity principle. Office or position of power in society need to open to all. Why? This is to ensure equal access to political power for everyone, not just a select few. So, the summarize of Rawls' views is the state, through social and political institutions, is responsible for distributive justice. This will then lead to true equality and liberty. 
Nozick's idea of the minimal state. There is no such things as distributive justice. Any distribution implies a central authority, which results in the violation of the individual's liberty. The state's function is to maximize and protect negative liberty. The way to get justice, if justice is entitlement. First, just is in acquisition or rightful acquisition entitles a person to something if you are acquired something legally you are entitled to it if you add value to it you are you are entitled to it if you are entitled to something nobody else has the right to take it away from you unless you consent and the second is justice in transfer or rightful transfer entitles a person to something if you acquire something through a legal transfer you are entitled to it an illegal transfer is one which you don't consent to or are forces to consent to the state does can act as an arbiter of justice here but only if both individuals consent to bring it to court in the third Justice in rectification, a previous wrongful transaction can be rectified. If in the past you were cheated in your entitlements, there should be a mechanism to rectify that wrong. Anything obtained due to rectification does become your entitlement. And summarized from Mozik is as long as you follow the three principles of entitlement, any form of distribution or is just, the state should not interfere with entitled property since doing some means interfering with justice.